In order to write code lightning fast, your editor needs to support auto-completion and snippets. Being able to tab your way through a large amount of boilerplate feels awesome, and many modern editors provide this feature out of the box. NeoVim, however, does not include such features out of the box. Configuring auto-completion and snippets in NeoVim is not difficult, but there are many tools out there, and it can be confusing to know which library to install. In this video, I'll show you how to get amazing auto-completion and code snippets in NeoVim with a couple of packages. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll show you how it's done. So without further ado, let's stretch out our fingers, open up our MacBook, open up NeoVim, and let's jump right in. Now, before we get started, I want to mention that this configuration is one that we've created already in a couple of episodes before this one. I will leave a link to the playlist in the description so you can check that out later. But essentially what we've done is we've created a modern modular configuration for NeoVim written in Lua. We already have the basics like a color scheme, tree sitter, nerd tree, Lua line, and LSP configurations. But one thing we're missing now is auto completion and snippets. My personal favorite plugin for auto completions is NVim CMP. It's a completion engine plugin for NeoVim written in Lua. This plugin is really great. It has full support for LSP completion, which is amazing powerful customizability via Lua functions, smart handling of key mappings, and no flicker. I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds good. We install these libraries just like everything else within plugins.lua. We want to install nvimcmp and also the engine that provides the LSP snippets to nvimcmp. We want to source this file and run packer sync so that everything is installed. Next, we want to create a new file under our plugin config directory called completions. This is where we will store all of our completion configuration. We want to make sure we also add this to our init.lua inside of plugin config so that we source it correctly. To configure this, we want to create a new local variable, which is require CMP. And then we want to call cmp.setup. Initially, we start with some key mappings. We don't really care too much about these except for the enter one, which is what expands the snippets. Then we want to configure our sources. We want to start with just the LSP one. Next, we want to make sure we advertise these new capabilities to our LSP configurations. So let's go to our LSP config.lua file, set up a local variable called capabilities that come from our LSP auto completion engine. Then we can advertise these new capabilities to each LSP config in our buffers when they get attached. Now, if we quit and reopen Vim, we can see if we type require, our LSP auto completion is already enabled, but we run into a problem when we try to expand one of these auto completions, we get an error message saying that the snippet engine is not configured. And if we go back to the documentation, we can see that it is required that you configure a snippet engine. So let's do that. In keeping up with our Lua only theme, we want to add Lemonade's Lua Snip Snippet Engine. We want to add this to our plugins.lua file, source everything, run Packer Sync, and it's installed. Next, we want to add that boilerplate code to our configuration for the completions.lua file. Then we want to make sure we add it in our sources as Lua Snip. If we quit and reload Vim and then type in function, we see that we get a snippet. And if we expand that snippet, we can see that we don't have any errors. Awesome. So this is great and all, but how do we get those awesome snippets we see in VS Code? Well, it turns out Lua Snip has a section in their documentation for just that. Under the Add Snippets section, we can see that there's a bullet point for VS Code-like snippets. And it says to use VS Code-like snippets, you just need to install them from a plugin like Friendly Snippets and then require them. What this will do is it'll load the snippets contained in that plugin on startup. This looks pretty great, so let's go ahead and do that. Now we're gonna need two new plugins for this, CMP Lua Snip, which is the completion engine for Lua Snip, and Friendly Snippets, which are the pre-configured snippets that contain things that are very VS Code-like and cool. Install these plugins, source the file, run Packer Sync, and we're all set. Next, we wanna to go to our completions.lua file, add that boilerplate code, quit NeoVim, and then open up an HTML file to test. And oh my God, look at that. Isn't this amazing? We have our cool VS Code-like snippets right in NeoVim. And there you have it. That is a high-level overview of how to add auto-completion and snippets to our NeoVim configuration. Now, I just want to take a moment and thank you all for the amazing response I'm getting on these videos. I love making them and I will continue to do so. So please let me know in the comments if there's any other topics you want me to cover. 
With that being said, if you want to know how we got to this point with our NeoVim configuration, please watch this video. And hey, have a great day.